unit 43 has have had hasn't haven't hadn't observe the table given below and compare the sentences i've got an english book have i got an english book you have got an english book have you got an english book he has got an english book has he got an english book she has got an english book has she got an english book it has got an english book has it got an english book we have got an english book have we got an english book they have got an english book have they got an english book some commonly used question forms and answers has he come today he has come today he hasn't come yes he has no he hasn't had he come yesterday he had come he hadn't come yes he had no he hadn't have they come today they have come they haven't come yes they have no they haven't had they come yesterday they had come they hadn't come yes they had come no they hadn't has she come today she has come she hasn't come yes she has no she hasn't had she come yesterday she had come yesterday she hadn't come yesterday yes she had no she hadn't hasn't he come today he hasn't come today he has come no he hasn't hasn't she come today she hasn't come today she has come no she hasn't haven't they come today they haven't come today they have come no they haven't hadn't he come yesterday he hadn't come yesterday he had come no he hadn't hadn't she come yesterday she hadn't come yesterday she had come no she hadn't hadn't they come yesterday they hadn't come yesterday they had come no they hadn't the auxiliaries have and had are used as helping verbs in the construction of the perfect and past perfect forms of all main verbs they are often pronounced as contracted weak forms in affirmative sentences and contracted weak forms are also used in the negative study the following examples and say them to yourself as you read them they have been living in calcutta for 3 years now but they still haven't got used to the heat he's collected his medication from the chemist but he hasn't actually taken any of the pills yet have you seen my green pullover anywhere sandra no sorry i haven't this was a lie for she had borrowed his green pullover and had forgotten to return it they told me that they lived in wiltshire all their lives but had never visited stonehenge we have paid for the flights but we haven't paid the travel insurance yet have have got when we are talking about possession relationships illnesses and characteristics of people or things we can use either have or have got the have got forms are more common in an informal style have got has the same meaning as has to make questions and negative sentences with have we normally use the auxiliary verb do to make questions and negative sentences with have got we use the auxiliary verb have question with have got must be formed as follows how many subsidiaries has your company got study these further examples and note that in informal speech we often switch from one form to the other how many subsidiaries does your company have it has two how many sisters do you have i've got three do you all have your own bedrooms sue's got her own bedroom but neither debbie nor i have we have to share note in this last example that have to is used as an alternative to must because the need to share is imposed on the sisters 
Have you got a new car, Paul? Yes, I have. I bought it last week. Has it got air conditioning? No, it doesn't. But it's got a CD player. Do you have very many CDs? I've got hundreds. Note the way in which we form short answers and question tags with have got and have. Have you got a sore throat as well as a runny nose? No, I haven't. But you've got a high temperature, haven't you? Yes, I have. Does this music school have enough pianos? No, it doesn't. But you have enough opportunities to practice, don't you? No, we don't.